mean so um like i said last night in the video um we're heading up north slightly um still kind of auckland based but um far enough up north um that you get into some good fishing and uh we've got the contiki the drones and some surf casters. I've got some surf casters in the back um, all coming out with us today. Beautiful day actually. Um, slightly overcast, blue skies, but um, I'm looking forward to it. So yeah, I've got two rods. Um, if I can get some liveys quickly, then I'm, I'm just gonna slide bait, two, two slide bait liveys out there um, and see what happens. Uh, but if, if not, um, I might get some pulley rigs or something like that when I get to the shop. Um, and uh chuck one of them out while the slide's working as well so yeah bit of all sorts going to be going on today uh Kontiki drone and surf casting um i am excited so hopefully i can uh represent the surf casters uh well today not that it's competition but it's always competition <clears throat> um so yeah gonna get out there we're heading to um Uretiti beach or Uretiti beach as some call it <laughs> um slightly up north uh it's about 8 30 now heading into the shop to meet with the boys and we are off so i'll see you soon and um the contiki i'm told has got some pretty cool features so looking forward to um meeting up with the boys that know what's up and um getting a bit more info about that so you guys can hear what the go is uh, and see it um, on this video so yeah three different methods at a beach drone contiki surf casting let's see how we get on eh? get supplies supplies for the day okay good old new zealand uh, auckland traffic right there Local transport. We've um, been driving down the beach. As you can see, there's another truck down there. He's he's having a fish. Um, but what's stopped us here is a bit of muscle spent. So you know, drive until you see. Fish are usually where there's food. So. Stands to reason we're into it. Oh, yeah, okay. It does make life easier. <laughs>
Oh, now we're talking. <laughs> now we're talking. Oh, that been uh, pre cottoned eh? Yeah, I find it. Nice. Before I go fishing normally. That's yeah, so the one. Especially for the first set. Yep. Bit of prep, eh? Yeah, just makes it easier and quicker. That's the one. Get all excited when two sets Yeah, <laughs> shortcuts can be taken. Yeah. Yep. Good stuff. So is that Oki and that mullet, is it? No, this is Bobby Benito by the looks. Oh, Benito? Yep. Oh, it is too. Cool. Quite big pieces of bait. This is left over actually for what we're using up in Northland for the fishing competition up there. Ah, choice. So it's probably been thawed out before. <laughs> She's away. Fishing on the west coast, so like 100 meters. Yeah, yeah, it'd be a bit short for that. Well, you can still, yeah, those are the time here, yeah, you have to fish it, yeah, it's a bit low tide if you have to go out in the water to launch a long way, you've got to take that through the earth. We're here, this is the Bullet Fishing Kontiki. Yep. Give us a rundown as to why um, this Kontiki is so special, mate. Okay, it's got a couple of features which uh, you won't find on any other make of Kontiki on the market. Um, namely, uh, it has auto start. So um, it's a safety feature and it's a convenient feature to have. You can um, set the, the run time and once that's set, it's, it's ready and armed put them in the water and as soon as the uh, splash of wave gets over the sensor which is located on the top of the Kontiki it will fire into life and off it goes so you can judge if it's on a, if you've got waves but no, haven't got them today but you're on the west coast or if you've got big waves coming in you can pick when you put them in the water and sort of uh, you don't actually have to go too far out of the water to get it to, to go nice no mucking around with magnets and looking down while you've got big waves sort of yeah yeah, cool, cool. Um, and the other feature is this, is we sell a sonar operated fish finder Kontiki. It um, detects if it goes out and comes across the school of fish, it will mark that position where the school of fish is. If the fish are within two metres at the bottom, and it doesn't matter what depth it is, but songs are within the two metre range at the bottom, 
um, and of the density that uh, that is factory set. Um, so it's a, a school of fish. It will carry on for 200 metres. So the hooks are in the vicinity where the school of fish that meet those parameters are down, and it will stop. So um, yeah. unless the school of fish have moved along or, or they're not on the bite, uh, you've got a good chance of catching them. Nice. So you've put a you've put a fish finder in essence. You've put a fish finder on the Kontiki. That's correct. Oh my yeah. goodness. So it's built inside. It's um, quite separate to the rest of the electronics for the Kontiki. So um, it, yeah, it runs its own own little circuit and um, sends a signal to stop it if it meets those parameters. Oh, very yeah. cool. Very cool. Mm. All right. And so we've we've put it out twenty meters. It's gone perfectly straight. Yeah. Um, twenty meter set. Unless she spots That's up, some fish. On fish. Here we there we go. That would have spooled the, the uh, winch. Ah, it's so. Gone for its full twenty minutes. Ah, it's okay. Gone it's gone for eight minutes. Eight minutes. So yeah. it's found a decent school of yeah. fish, and it's dropped our hooks yep. directly on it because that should be empty. That should be empty. Right, okay. So the advantage of that also is you're not sending it out to the horizon. So we'll get multiple sets of a set of batteries. Nice. We can put that in the, back in the, in the water again and off it will go. Um, so we can, yeah, keep doing that and, and get multiple sets. Love it, okay. All right, so there we go. Talking about it and it just uh, gave us a <laughs> demo right there. So that's gonna be awesome, first set. And now uh, we'll let you know how we get on. So here we go. It's another Kontiki. So this is the non sonar version, eh? Yeah. So here we go. Autopilot, auto start. Very cool. So what we'll do now, we'll just set that again. Five, ten, how far? Ten. Yep. It's fifteen. It's probably fifteen. There we go. Yeah, local Uber. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we are both um, Kontikis are uh, out there now. One of them's still still kind of moving through the water, but um, yeah, like you saw the first set we did, it's um, got a sonar on the front, uh, which is absolutely amazing. So it basically will pick up the fish on the bottom, like we talked about, and. Um, it's this has even gone out a kilometre and uh, it's it's sitting on top of fish. So basically once it senses the fish, it'll go out another um, 150 metres, which is how long the uh, surf line is or the clearance from the Kontiki to, to where your first sinker starts. Um, so it'll just continue to run that over and drop your hook section directly on top of the fish. Um, oh man so so simple so easy to use automatically starts in the water um and you're away you are away um then the second one here is auto nav still still got the auto nav feature and i gotta i gotta say one's gone directly straight out from us the other one we've kind of set on a bit of an, an angle um so one's going out straight um, pretty much hasn't shifted its location the other one we've set on another um a little bit of an angle and i'll show you how how close they are and um they are bang on the course that we've set them on so um they're, they're made well man they are made well so yeah bullet fishing um we'll put up some links in the description um below so you can check them out but mate definitely a good time definitely a good time so 
yeah let me i'll show you how close together these winches are because it is it's pretty impressive so here's here's one of them right here and there's the other one right there so as you can see very close together it's <laughs> not even a car park between those two so yeah and um not even worried Sandbar out there. Go and get the old uh, live bee gear now and see if we can catch us a little car wire or something, something small anyway, and see if we can slide them out there. And hey, we've got two contikis fishing down the beach. We've got the boys with the drones. We've got the surf casters out. What a day! Is there anything better to do than be out on the beach? I think not. Right, I'm making my jingles. Plug them in and she goes, eh? Ah, yeah, so here we go. Goony. Gee, good size one too. There's a bit of weed out there, eh? Okay. Go. Our second set came in with two gurnard. Um, so very quiet on the snapper front. This one was up two kilometers as well, so she was right out there. Um, yeah, guy um, that was fishing down from us said that um, he, he'd only caught a couple of smaller snappers, so bit of a bit of a tricky. I mean, to be fair, she's flat as a pancake out here, um, so it's going to be a challenging day. Um, but we're we're three gurnard up so far. One of them we've just put back because it was a bit undersized, but um, um, we're three gearing it up. Uh, and I've been given some intel that the boys that were drone fishing have only caught one gearing So, so far, it seems as though the old uh, Contiki's got the edge. Um, but we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Sometimes it's just about the depth of water, the distance, and uh, where you're putting your bait. Um, today we're using mullet. Uh, we're using mullet. Uh, octopus and bonito is our bait so got a bit of a range heading out there and um, I'm still having to go trying to catch a livey because uh, it's outgoing tide I'm not going to bother uh, fishing with bait um, but uh, there's a bit of a sandbar so perfect place to prospect for some live bait um, if I can get a livey I'll slide it out on the old slide baiting rig and uh, yeah we'll see what happens we'll see how we get on but so far contiki has been uh, Bringing in some carrots, which is, oh mate, I'll take a gurn at any day. Um, but we've got one set that's just gone out, so second set on the Sonar um, Auto Nav Bullet Contiki. 
and um, we're just bringing in the one that went, uh, it's just the auto nav uh, Kontiki. Right, and uh, so far nil on the surf casters. But um, like in saying that, I am only going for liveies, so let's get back into it. Eh? This is the second set still. It's on the sonar auto nav. We've set this one out a little bit further. And um, we'll see we'll see how this one goes. So it's set to stop in front of fish um, that it finds. Uh, and then the other one we're bringing in. Um, actually, there it's not too far right now. There he is. Uh, we'll bring that one in, reset it, and send that back out. And um, I'm going to go back over and see if I can catch some live bait again. And then... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll give you a bit of a nosy as to how it goes when we're uh, back on the reset. I don't know whether you can see it or not, but um, what I've been doing is chumming up some pilchards. the same things I'm using for bait. Just cutting them up into small pieces and then um, in my hand I'm putting it into the wave and mushing it up so that all the good juicy stuff starts coming out of it. and. Um, all the paddle crabs and that'll soon start coming up to have a go and um, all of that so you can see it there on the bottom it's all the bits of pilchard that I've been chomping up and then um, I've just got a sabiki here on a soft bait rod this is the Alvi Orbiter 8 to 10 kilo just a sabiki four hooks bait and away you go there's a paddle crab there this car he's gone now but um and that's literally how I go about trying to catch liveies in the beach. Now there's not much movement in this beach today, but um, we will continue to have a go. See if we can get a livey and put them out. Um, just there you can see the uh, Kontiki coming in. So we'll, I mean, I'll keep going and seeing if I can get some uh, action on the old sabikis and then um, I might change it up and, oh, there's a crab on my sabiki now, I can feel it. <laughs> Um, I might change it up if nothing goes on and see if I can uh, flick a soft bait around. There's a sandbar not too far out, like I was saying earlier. So there might be some kahawai hanging around the sandbar, but yeah. Hey, I'm just loving being out here, to be really honest. Um, the bro bringing in the, uh, the Kontiki. He'll reset that in a moment and um, we'll be away. Yo, we our drone boys. So they, they must be all done for the day over in a second see what the tally was still nothing on the old uh, sabiki yet he's the man that was uh, holding it down with the drones today so how do we get on how we get on a bit slow today yep a little gurned snap it a throw back but it's good having everyone there they got to see a few things nice got to show our new condor drone that's coming out the a22 oh my goodness so that one's got a mechanical release as well as a tension release gee pretty cool testing it out so water return It'll release the gear, so you're not going to bring your hooks back if you haven't done it properly. Cool. Really cool. Oh, okay, okay. So, yeah, Gurnard and uh, Snap It'll Put Back. Uh, so far, we're nil on the uh, surf cast. As you can see, the slide rig is still sitting there, um, feeling left out. Uh, and we're three Gurney, um, three Gurnard on the Kontiki. So, Kontiki is killing us. Kontiki is killing us. Oh, nice. You hear that? Consequences. <laughs> Yeah, so it was uh, biggest fish was a pie. Oh, uh, most fish clean the car. Oof, and uh, I think I got to clean Nathan's car tonight. Okay, hey, hey, let's not count out the surf caster. <laughs> so all I got to do is catch a kahawai, and I've got you. Yeah, all, all I, I got to do is catch a kahawai. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, there's a sandbar right there. I just can't get a blinking livey yet. <laughs> so, nah, we'll keep going, we'll keep going, see how we get on, and hopefully, soon, hopefully, soon the surf caster will be put into some action. My goodness. Set number four. Okay, he's got the same idea I have. Looking for a livey inside the sandbar. A couple more of his mates. So, um, so what's the plan here? So this one, how, how far out has this one gone? Uh, it's about nearly two kilometers. Nearly two K? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, that's what on. that looks like. He's going to bring him in a 200 metres and stop. Ah, right. There's any fish there. Nice. Just keep doing that for yep. a while. Nice. Call that the Contiki bus stop. Yeah. Hey. Yep. Stop off, pick up a few passengers. Cover, cover a bit of, hey. bit of ground. Pick up some passengers, then bring it back in a bit more. Hopefully get some passengers. That's the one. Yeah. That's how we do it. Guy out there is being um, romantic right now. Yeah. He likes long walks along the beach. <laughs> <laughs> um, here he is. That's our drone pilot. Yep, that's Christo. Um, I'll put a bit of a pause on the um, trying to catch liveies. We've had gannets flying past all day and it's gone a bit shallow between the shoreline and the sandbar. Um, and uh, the amount of gannets that have been flying past and not one has di uh, done a dive in front of us is quite indicative of um, the fact that she's pretty quiet here today. So, yeah, pushing pause for now. We might, um, might resume when the tide turns. See how we get on. Uh, pulling in the auto nav non sonar Contiki right now. And um, that's the one that we've put in close, so put that one out 10 minutes. It's up. So obviously, we've got a few different types of bait um, that we've sent out there, but we've also tried to mix up the type of trace that we're using. So some of them just clear traces. Some have got the floating beads on them as well. It's just to see if there's certain things um, closer to the bottom, like the gurnard. Um, there's stuff up off the bottom. Um, and some of the uh, different fish species um, really come in quite hard on the different colored beads. So yeah, it, it does pay when you're, when you're out there fishing, especially in winter, like right now, um, the harder time of the year to get, get fish on the, on the beach. Um, pays to mix it up and, and try different things. So yeah, this, this set was in close. We wanted to try it out. The last set we pulled back in, all of the fish were on the, um, the shore side um, of the set. So we thought, oh, well, we'll put one out um, closer um, and then we'll, we'll put the other one out there, two Ks, like we said earlier. Be interesting to see how the other set's gone. This one looks like we may not have had any joy, but we'll see, There's still some hooks to come in. Look at that beast. Alright, here's the 2K set. This is the one with the sonar again. Little fish finder built into a Kontiki, eh? How cool is that? Oh, is that a Gurney? Is it another Gurnard? Come on, you good thing. That's what we like to see. Oh, that's a good one. That's what we like to see. Oh, there's another one. That's what we like to see. There he is. There's another one. Ah, I guess that was the final haul on the um, sonar Contiki um, by Bullet Fishing. What a machine. Um, fair to say it's been really, really quiet today. I mean, I hinted at it earlier, we've been, we've been seeing gannets sw um, flying up and down the beach the whole time we've been here basically. And um, there's a sandbar here. Um, everything and uh, not once have we seen them dive not once have we um, seen any sign of life around I mean it's it's winter 
it's it's pretty flat to be fair as well but um yeah we got a bunch of goonie and i'll tell you what um although yeah we were hoping to see some snapper come up i'll take gurnard over snapper any day of the week so um good haul of goonies i think all up there's about six of them in the bin now um and Kentucky's were definitely the winner today. Poor Rod, never even got to slide a livey out. So, yep, we were ready for it, but uh, she wasn't to be, so I'll have to bow, bow on defeat today. <laughs> um, look at that, there's one right there. Yeah, patrolling the old sandbars all day long. Yeah. So um, I think we're going to start packing up now and start heading for home. Hopefully we don't get caught in some crazy traffic um, getting back into Auckland like you saw in the video on the way out of here. But um, what an awesome day. Doing it good. Doing it well, man. Doing it real well. So um, yeah, um, check out the bullet fishing contikis. I've used all of them now and I'm, man, I rate them pretty high. When you've got a uh, fish finder on your Kontiki, you've got something pretty special indeed. So don't be surprised if you see me doing more videos with those bad boys. Um, and I definitely want to do another day where we get out, slide baiting, drone fishing, and Kontiki fishing, and see if I can uh, see if I can have a, a bit of a hang with the big boys. <laughs> Choice. Oh, hope you enjoyed the video. Bit of a chill out on the beach today. Um, if you haven't already, hit that um, subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, uh, comment below uh, what you want to see more of this summer. Right now it's winter, um, but it'll be coming into spring soon, and uh, with that means we're about to get busy chasing kingies, um, war fishing, uh, surf casting, drone fishing, it's all going to go on. So yeah, comment below, let us know what you want to see some more of, and we will get out there and do it with you right here on outdoor adventures with keys much so love. um what's our what's our recap of uh, the day so far we got a total of five journeys i think it was yep. um four of those are caught off the sonar contiki yep and side by side the uh non-sonar contiki caught one right look at uh, that yeah that's the difference that predominantly you do see um when you're fishing with a sonar contiki right right ah, look at that and uh here we've got um chris who was drone fishing and uh the the recap of your day was mate uh two fish one yep. gunard snapper that i had to throw back unfortunately but we had a really good turnout at the beach yep nice um, pretty cool we had a few customers that already had drones need a little more help on how to do it how to catch it uh, we've got the new a22 drone coming out yeah so that one's got a mechanical and tension release nice. so you can fly out stop wherever you want if you know a spot you want to get to you can stop push the button it'll drop your baits or nice. if you like go the traditional way just keep flying and it'll pop off hey, nice nice final recap from the surf caster yeah big fat donut <laughs> big fat donut <laughs> on my one um so yeah you're right yeah, yeah you'll be fine, really you'll be fine. I just don't want to go. <laughs> no, nice. Um, yep. So we got, um, I got absolutely nothing on the surf casters, not even a livey, which is absolutely embarrassing. But, um, hey, it's a team sport. It was a team sport today and there's Gurnard in the bin. So, uh, we'll probably go back now and grab a salad. Good pie. Um, yeah, start heading home and, uh, Got a bit of clean up and pack up to do, and then we are off. So, uh, good, good day, good day out on the beach, and uh, not even far from home. So, there you go. Come in and check it. Um, check out the gear, Paul's fishing systems. Um, look up bullet fishing. Mate, I tell you what, that sonar bullet fishing con ticky, pretty deadly, pretty deadly, I must say. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed, family. Have an awesome day, and we'll uh, see you again soon on the next adventure. Listen to that. Oh, look at the colours on this thing. Beautiful fish. Yeah. Those spines on the back of the head. Oh, I know. <laughs> We've all had one of them, haven't we? Yeah. The old spike. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah.
hear that sound? No whanau? I did not have baked beans for dinner last night. It was the uh, gurnish. <laughs> that was the gurnish. Should be good. Yeah. There we go. Here's the end result. Some beautiful carrots from that bad boy. My salad and um oh oh oh, oh, oh. oh it's a bit sick in the burger oh just had my salad <laughs>